So we previously discussed how to find the total distance of any two line segments. And it's simply to find if this is three units and this is seven units, to find the total, all we have to do is add those together, three plus seven, and we can get the total, which is 10, okay? This is a little different. This question is asking us to find what point on a number line represents just a portion of the segment ST. Now, the portion obviously can be represented um, as a fraction, in this case being 3 fourths. So I want to know in between negative 8 and positive 4, what point represents three-fourths of that total distance. So the, first, the steps are written out here for us. The first thing we do is we're going to count the total units from S to T to find the total length of the segment. Now, you can count individually, which is fine, but I know that from negative 8 to 0 is 8 units, and 0 to 4 is 4 units, so that's a total of 12 units. So the length of ST is 12. Okay. The second thing we're going to do is we're going to multiply our total length, which we just determined was 12, by the fraction or the portion of the segment we're looking for. In this case, it happens to be 3 fourths. So I'm going to multiply, and any time we're looking for a portion of any total, we're going to multiply, okay? And remember, if we, were going to mul if we multiply a whole number times a fraction, we can put it over 1. And when we multiply, remember we multiply straight across. So 12 times 3 is 36, 1 times 4 is 4, and 36 divided by 4 happens to be 9. So 9 units represents 3 fourths or 75% of the total length of 12. Now, this is the number of units that is represented by the 3 fourths of the total. That's not what the question asks. We still have one more step to go, and that is to count this number of units of 9 from our starting point. So how do we determine our starting point? Well, it's based on the question, okay? It wants us to find the coordinate on the number line that is 3 fourths of ST. So we're going to start with S, and I'm going to count 9 units from S. Okay, when you count, your starting point is always 0. So 7 makes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, which I knew from before. Negative 8 to 0 is 8 units. One more unit makes 9 units total. So therefore, my coordinate is 1. Okay. Now, let's uh, try this again. To another example, we'll use the same our same length st, but this time let's find um, one third. Let's calculate one third of the total distance or length of st. So first thing again. First step is to count the total number of units of the line segment. And as we've previously done, we know that ST has a length of 12. So then I'm going to multiply it by the fraction or the portion of the segment we're looking for, in this case, one third. Put our whole number over 1 and multiply straight across. 12 times 1 is 12, 1 times 3 
is 3, and I can simplify 12 divided by 3 to be 4. So that means 4 units represents one-third of the line segment ST. So again, start from S and count four units. So one, two, three, four would put me at negative four. So the coordinate that represents one-third of the total distance of line segment ST is negative four. Now, if it had asked for one-third of the segment TS, you'll notice T is listed first. So then that, that changes our coordinate. Doesn't change how many units one third uh, one third of the segment represents, but it changes from which direction we start counting. So since T is listed first, we're going to start counting our four units from four. One, two, three, four, putting me at zero. So my coordinate or point on the line, on the line, um, on the number line that represents one third of TS is zero, where one-third of ST is at negative four. Let me know if you have any questions on that.